What's up, everybody? Welcome to a fresh take. So, I just got through watching um, the new DC animated film, Soul of the Dragon. And I gotta say, I enjoyed myself. I, I, I thought that it was it looked cheesy from the trailer. It looked like 70s black exploitation kung fu theater cheese. And it was all of that, and I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is clearly an Elseworlds tale. Um, I think it's like kind of like a one-off. Uh... One of the things that I liked about it, WB, if you know anything about their animation, you've been following it for a while animated, on the animated side, they know what they're doing. They have a clearly defined identity, I think. So it doesn't strike me as odd when they do little one-offs or stuff in other types of uh, stuff that's not adhering totally to what's going on in the comics now or retelling stories in the comics. They pretty much have done a very good job of setting all of that up and getting people's expectations ready for that. So, this film is one of those where it's like it's kind of like a one-off, I, I think, even though we'll get to the what happened at the end, but it's kind of like a one-off. And this is going to be spoiler-free. Let me cap that by saying, let me start this off by saying it's going to be spoiler-free um, for the most part. But uh, it's a very interesting take on like a a kind of mishmash of genres, and I, and I enjoyed it with using DC characters. Um, the thing, the, the thing about the animation, it's smooth. I like it. It looks like the Batman animated series, uh, style It's done in that style. The, uh, I think they called it what, uh, art deco or something like that back in the nineties, but it's done in that style. And, and I like it. I, I like it. I think it works. It helps with the action sequences. Cause there are a lot of action sequences in it. Um, imagine an animated James Bond movie with Batman in it. And you're pretty much, that's pretty much what you got here. Um, a, a animated James Bond mixed with Mission Impossible. And that's pretty much what you got here. Uh, it's Shiva, the, the characters in this one are Shiva, Bronze Tiger, Richard Dragon, Batman, and you use the Serpent Society. Um, basically, it's the four of them trying to stop an ancient evil snake god from coming over into our universe and pretty much taking over. So that's the whole crux of of the film. They have inter, interlaced uh, flashbacks in it um, to show how it was when they were training, and I thought that worked. I love the character of Osensei, even though it's like a stereotype, but it's a fun. It's it's kind of the funny fun sensei stereotype that they do that they used to do in um, kung fu theater a lot back in the seventies and eighties. Um, so I, I actually liked that character. Um, I think he was voiced by James Hong, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I think. I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, <laughs> I think that's who, who um, voiced him. But it that that was fun. I liked the action. I liked the animation. I even liked um, the soundtrack. The soundtrack, to me, is actually very well done. It has that 70s-inspired feel to it. So it works, in my opinion. So uh, what I didn't like... Okay, so for some reason... DC animation has, and DC as a whole has this whole. I hate to have to say it, but fetishization with the with an R rating. This I don't know why this movie's rated R. I really don't. There's one scene where a head gets cut off, and it's bloodless, and it flies past, flies by real fast. So you don't see it. I don't. I don't think. I, I don't think anybody dropped the f bomb. I don't think. I'm trying to remember. They may have, but I don't remember. And, and that's the thing, like, it's not vulgar. Um, you don't see any sex. There is a, a, a insinuated sex scene, but you don't see anything because it's after the fact and the woman's putting her clothes on. So you don't see or hear anything. Um, there is a, a thrilling scene where that involves snakes. But once again, you don't see anything. And it's more that's more along the thriller lines. It's there's To me, there's nothing really that warrants this being a rate a R rating, but for some reason they got it. I, I, I don't really know. Um, and, and, and that's one of the things that brings it down for me a little bit, because if, if you've seen any other, uh, it's not like apocalypse, apocalypse war that had to be rated R because that was just like death, destruction and depravity on a whole another level. But this one doesn't have nearly anything like that. So I don't, I don't understand it. Um, Another thing, I do think it was a little too short. It's like an hour and 20 minutes. And I think it could have been a little bit longer just because I, I liked the flashbacks of them going back and training. 
Um, I thought we didn't get enough of that, really. Because there's two characters that I can't really say nothing about because it's kind of like a spoiler. But there's two characters in there that don't really, to me, didn't get enough screen time. And I think we could have had like an extra like five minutes, five, ten minutes maybe, just to flesh that out a little bit more. Um, so for the parents, uh, like I said, it's an hour and 20. It, it's it's well-paced. If you've seen one um, WB animated film, you've seen them, you, you know what to expect. Uh, I don't think it's bad for kids, honestly. Um, if they've seen like any other superhero movie, like um, uh, Batman vs Superman, or you know Man of Steel, or Endgame, or Infinity War, I think they can watch this. I don't like I said, I don't know why it's rated R. I, I don't, I don't like, I don't even remember them dropping the f bomb. If they did, um, I don't remember. I don't remember it, and it, it clearly wasn't that many. If they did, because like I said, I don't remember it being extra vulgar or anything like that and the violence like i said there's one head removal scene but you don't it it when it happens it's during a car chase and it's like that and it's bloodless so once again i, I don't know why i i wouldn't if, if, you, if you're still worried about i probably wouldn't let little little kids like under 10 see it but without watching it first but i don't see anything expressly wrong with it to give it a, to grant it an r rating um overall I, I would give it if it came out in the theater i would give it a matinee it's fun it's quick it's to the point um th there is there are a lot of fights in it like i said like i said it's, it's basically if you put bond with mission impossible that's the kind of film you're going with here so i think you would enjoy it um i rented it out on um uh, Google Play, so it's available for um, rent and um, VOD. So I would check it out. I enjoyed it. I had a good time with it. So I think you will too. Um, let me know what you thought. If you have seen it, let me know what you think about it. Leave a comment down below and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next Fresh Take. Peace out, peeps.